Hi, I'm Elliot. And I'm Elliot. And today we're going to talk about Comic Con 2012. We had it in Baltimore this year. This is my first Comic Con. My first Comic Con, too. <laughs> I went to comic book conventions before, but this was totally different. So it was great to actually share that with you. So I wanted to do a recap and answer a couple questions. So my first question for you is that what was your favorite book? My favorite book probably had to be the, po the Pokemon Johnson. Because the girl, she drew, uh, she drew so many good drawings of the Pokemon. And they weren't just the Pokemon off the game or the TV show. They actually looked different than what they are right now. They, they looked more realistic. I got you. She it was the booth where she was drawing like Pokemon and like like kind of different settings, not your traditional settings. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. That makes sense. For me, I actually was introduced to an artist by the name of Michael Montet. So I think I may have said that wrong. I think it's Montanet, <laughs> Montanet, I guess. So Michael, I apologize, but Michael actually did a fantastic print that I picked up. It was Hawk Hawk versus. Uh, Superman and you know being a huge fan back in the day of, of both characters um, it was very very interesting I actually have a link in the, in the description he combined Marvel with DC yeah it was a cool mashup it was, it was really really cool I, I liked it and uh, I, I do have a link to that look below it's in the description so what was your favorite costume it would have to be the Dalek from Doctor Who because uh, it looked like it took years of work and a person could actually fit in it. And it looked like it was actual, and it was an actual robot, but you could fit in it to control it. It didn't look like I would be able to fit in it, but it may have been. It must be hot in there, though. <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. I, I, I would agree. Uh, I think my favorite costume was a young lady in a, a raven's cost in a raven costume um, from Teen Titans. Um, she actually, it was funny, we didn't get a picture of this, but we were walking out for lunch out of the convention center, oh. and she was sitting Indian style, like, uh, her lance Scratch cross. Yeah, <laughs> yes. And, and it was so funny because I, I could just kind of see Raven kind of floating there, and it was cool. It was, it was a very inventive costume. It looks like she took a, a lot of time to, to get it done, so I really enjoyed that one. So what was one item that you wanted to get, but you didn't get a chance to get. Well, that's not true. I actually had two items. What was that? Well, there was like some type of, what was it called again? Oh, never mind. It was, that was, that's not right. This is what I wanted. I wanted a, a, a hat with a t matching t-shirt because it just, it just looked so cool, and there was a whole bunch of t-shirts, and I bet there were hats on there, too. Which which, which uh, one were you talking about? I don't remember the hats and the, and the t-shirts. Any one that I could get my hand on. Oh, okay, I know what you're talking about. I, I remember, because when we were walking through, um, we were going to go pick up another uh, print, and you and, and, and Mom actually stopped at that booth where they had like the t-shirts and everything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. So, for me, uh, it was this Mega Man print that actually had uh, um, all of, a, a lot of uh, monsters, uh, or some of his enemies, his rivals, were after him. And he kind of had, like, this broken helmet, and his hair was kind of flying out. It was a really, really cool print. Uh, I didn't have any more cash on me, so I... I tried to pay with credit, didn't work out. Luckily, I do have the artist's uh, contact info, so I'll try to sync up with them, and hopefully I can get that print. But it was really, really nice. So, what did you learn? I learned that it's not easy drawing comics. I like drawing, and I'm a talented artist and all, but comics, not my thing. I'm still <laughs> learning how to draw them and everything. I mean, I can draw, like, the bubbly ones, but not the really detailed ones like they drew. They were awesome. Yeah, I think the one thing that you have to realize is that 
draw, drawing is actually a skill and you have to practice at it and I think the next time you go you should really ask an artist like how long is it taking him for you know one drawing and, and I, I got into some of those questions and and, and my favorite booth was uh, I'm sorry and what, what I learned I'm sorry I already talked about the favorite booth but what I learned was that you really know a lot about Star Wars you know a ton more about Star Wars than me and <laughs> it was it was so funny because we were sitting there and we were watching um, I was looking through a lot of the samples of this one artist um, and he did some of these trading cards and he actually drew them at scale and he and I think he said like he used this super super fine pencil to draw these things and he was saying well hey this one little you know two by three card what it took me eight hours to do and I'm like whoa that's just crazy and it was funny because he actually had this set of 20 to 30 cards that he did and I mean if you want to say like you know he did 20 cards at eight hours a, a card you know you're talking like 160 hours so it took him days to do this and that's just amazing and the thing about it was we were actually going through and, and I, I knew it was kind of going downhill for me when I said hey that looks like a, a stormtrooper and you were like no it's it's some other type of trooper and I was scout like a, <laughs> yeah, it's a scout trooper now it's funny I, I probably knew this like 20 years ago when when Star Wars came out but I don't know this now but you do and that's really the cool thing about you know Comic-Con is that you know we both can go I had a good time. You know a lot more about Star Wars than I do. Um, I may know more about Marvel than you do. And it was probably people there that we were talking to that knew a lot more than us. But everybody was there. Everybody embraced us. It was really, really cool. So I enjoyed it. So Comic-Con next year? Yep. All right. This is Elliot. And Elliot. Thanks for watching.